Welcome back once again to Let's Play Rome Total War Remastered. Yes, here we are. Here we are. Once again on the campaign map. Lovely jubbly. So as we left off, we were here keeping an eye on the Spanish who appear to be straying too close to Cordoba for comfort. And down here, we have a little situation going on. Here, rather. Uh, we're about to uh, attack Sirta and uh, declare war on the Numidians. And over here, it's been confirmed that, uh, as we take a look at this land here, shift click, there you go. Although it looks like a Greek city, it is in fact uh, being taken by the Scipii. So, so that's, uh, well, not the greatest of news because it means that they have two of the three, so no doubt they'll be eyeing the old Lilibaeum here with uh, with slathering mouths, you know? The greedy dogs. But we've got good relations, so we're hoping that that will last out long enough for us to continue to expand our horizons across Africa and strengthen ourselves before we go into that particular dogfight. Anyway, the plan for today's session is simple, <laughs> but uh, I'm betting it won't pan out so simply. But uh, we are going to take Serta, and we, it's, it'll probably be a relatively straightforward-ish kind of battle, but uh, we will fight it on the, campaign, on the, on the battle map, because it's our first battle of the campaign. And then after that, we are going to prepare to take uh, Lepsis Magna. <clears throat> now, the way we're going to do that is uh, our faction leader, he's 68. He's not getting any younger. He doesn't want to live out his days holed up on the borders of Romans. No, we want some final blaze of glory, and hopefully he'll get to he'll hopefully he'll get there before he pops his clogs. Because what we're going to actually do is we are going to uh, recruit a couple of units of mercenaries that are very expensive, mind you. So we're going to not do it this turn, but the next turn we'll, we'll start this. Because we're already running a loss uh, this turn. And then he's going to sail down on some ships, plump himself down there, take another couple of uh, mercenary units from this region. So hopefully take him up to four mercenary units. Take down Lepsis Magna in a blaze of glory. And then pop his clogs in the middle of the desert. Because why not? Uh, but no, it's his, it's his parting gift to the family, taking uh, on a, another uh, settlement for our expansion. So yeah, let's see how that pans out. Skippy, I are just spying on Lily Bayum, just assessing how many troops they're going to need to take it, no doubt. Okay. Ooh, are they gonna beat? Ooh, ooh. Okay, so Spain just walked towards the watchtower. That's fine. We can live with that. We can live with that. Okay, so uh, let's have a wee peeky. Some people have suggested that we should start taking the fight to Spain rather than waiting for them to expand and merge and get stronger. They're relatively weak-ish at the moment. One decent army could take through, you know, rip through their current forces here and then their settlements aren't the heaviest uh, defended. So we could, we could actually strike them a blow kind of preemptively really but uh, 
it's fine it's fine the time is right we shall uh, we shall turn on them but the time is not now we're, we're very patient people and uh, oh dear what's this one of our concern is what it is uh, yeah when the time is right and uh, you know we don't want to rip through things too quickly and have it too easy I mean uh, from a gameplay perspective, uh, it'd be nice to just let a few factions just build up a little bit before we go trampling through, you know. Give us some potential, you know, good locking horns in the future. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to let it get too strong, but anyhow. So we've got 2,000 net income this turn. We're not building anything here, which is fine. We're going to take that, hopefully, this turn or next. They're trying to send reinforcements, which is fine. Um, we won't be able to take this first time, will we? Because we don't have anything to ram this down. We don't have any elephants, for instance. So we're going to have to wait a turn to uh, build the things. So we may get attacked here. Numidian Cavalry. Missile Cav. Usually a pain in the ass. Anyway, um, nothing to build there. Mm, perhaps Zeus, there is something to build. Let's take a look at the old building browser very quickly and see what we are going to build here. We have all the level one buildings, which means we now go to the level two and perhaps Zeus is going to be uh, trade based. So we have paved roads, which would increase trade, communal farming, likewise market and uh, sewers. Also, we can increase the size of the temple, which boosts our trade income further. And given that we're a, uh, a devout people, I think the temple shall take precedence. And it's the cheapest. So, there you go. But we'll just hang on for a split second with that one, because uh, I can't see this guy taking that. On his own, surely. I mean, even if he does, it's not going to make much of a difference, because... We are coming. 1400. They say it's not cheap. It is not cheap. Sire. Right. Let's go. Ready to sail. What in the hell? Can't sail there, mighty lord. Did we just get blocked? I think we just got blocked. Ready to sail. You kidding me? Ships ready. I great lord. I great lord. Well, that's put the old mockers on things, hasn't it? Delayed us by an extra bloody turn now. What did I say about things won't pan out as simple as I hoped? Yes, you know, I know, I know these games far too well for there for things to go so smoothly. Yeah, path blocked. Look at that. For God's sake. Bloody. Greeks. Can't you go away? The Romans have pushed you off Sicily. Go back, go, go, go back to your homelands. Sounds really bad, doesn't it? Now? Go back to where you came from. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, right. Uh, Carthage is building. Perhaps Zeus. We can just, just, just about afford uh, a temple of Melka. Takes us slightly into the red there by 400 denarii, but that's fine. Lilibeum is still building, so all our settlements are building that need to build. The recruitment side of things um, is fine, actually. We're going to hold off the ships for this turn. We've got a, we've got a few ships now beginning to, uh, to patrol the water, so we'll, we'll continue the expansion of the navy after we've uh, sorted out these little couple of issues right so let's just take a quick check up here yet he's definitely meandered over that side that's fine which means then let's do this hostilities shall commence this is our future faction leader mr hasdrubal mr hasdrubal we might as well build as many rams as we can Lift the siege. Maintain the siege. Besieging settlements, sir. 
Indeed, indeed. Six turns it can last. Well, it won't be taking... It won't take six turns to do what we've got planned. I tell you that much. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, so that... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, be he he. We're going to focus on the agents, right? Ships ready. Set sail. He is picking up Mr. Merchant. Yes. And now we have a merchant and a diplomat that could be could be twins actually uh, into the ships, and hopefully they will get to Egypt without being accosted by pirates. Uh, Alexandria? Why not? So off they sail on a grand excursion to get us more money. War has been declared. Hopefully it will be a quick war because what we're hoping to do is take down Theatre, pop across, take down that, and then uh, hopefully... Uh, <laughs> Could take us a while across the mountains here uh, to get down to that. So take those three settlements quite qu as quickly as possible, in addition to taking that as well. Uh, and then we're going to sue for peace. Ask them to become protectorate. Uh, and then, uh, fingers crossed, that will be the Numidians taken care of. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, so Serta is taken care of there. Well, okay, spy... We can see him there. It's not a massive threat, but we'll we'll just we'll just hang on for now. Ships ready. We'll take the ships down, Hi, my lord. just to see if the ships can spot anything on the land in terms of units, and we can. So this could well be it for now. Just two units in there. You know what we could do to save some time. In fact, I'm going to do it. Ready to sail. Take him to here. Take this army down to take that, and then pop a crack, then pop back across. And that leaves him, once he's taken that, just to head straight down south, instead of having to go there, then there. So we'll mobilize this army. Whilst the Spanish are just pottering about, we have the watchtowers, so we can always do a U-turn if needs be. We can get some uh, mercenaries as well from here. Yeah, we can we can use we can use this guy. Good old Theopanus. He doesn't want to sit on his laurels. He's, he's he's pleading the case with his father. Please let me go south. Join in this war effort. It will be quicker, more efficient. My men in Cordoba would tell me should I need to return if the Spanish get frisky. Good, uh, good plan. Good plan, says uh, Hanno. Good plan. We like that. Right. Meanwhile, our young, our youngest son, Bomulcar, is going to Palma to govern the area, get some governorship, get some management skills, and also keep an eye on uh, churning out Balearic slingers should we need them. Right. Excellent. So the plan is coming together slowly but surely. Very slowly but s very surely, hopefully. You know, taking our time and taking our care will hopefully prevent issues in the future. Right. You, sir. My eyes are yours. Take the road to Dimidi. Stealth is my cloak. I don't see any signs of Numidian armies. This, my friends, is certainly a good sign. Certainly a good sign. God knows where the bloody settlement is down here. There's another settlement here. Isn't there? There is. I'm sure there is. Sahara. Unless that's wilderness. But I don't think so. I think it's actually a an area that you can actually take. Yeah, look at that. All that is Sahara. Is that it maybe there? Because, you know, we do want everything. Not that we're greedy, but we are. <laughs> we like money. And settlements are money. So if there's a settlement floating around there down there somewhere, we will find it. Right, okay. So... So it turns for him to arrive here. Right, okay. Okay, we'll be ready. We shall be ready for the fireworks to erupt. Ships ready. So he's going down there. We have... Uh, Your humble 
him going north, trying to find out the Brita uh, find out where uh, Britannia are. Oh, it's got it's a Gallic settlement, and then we'll go across to 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 to, to Germanica to carry on our our mission of trading with as many people as possible. We've got goods to trade. We've got lots to trade. Marble. Soon to have marble. We've got timber. Anybody want some wood? How about some pottery? Oh, olive oil, maybe. <laughs> I hear it's nice and bread. Elephants could be an issue to, to, to ship across, but, uh, you know, maybe come and see them. Okay. I think we're done. No more building work. No more recruitment. Um, agents have moved. Yep. Armies have moved. Is he going to take that? On his own? Are you kidding? Oh no, he got repelled. I think he tried to take it and got repelled. What a foolish man. They really are getting desperate, aren't they? <laughs> How much further is he going to go backwards? Yeah, we're getting attacked. No, we're not. He seems to be just reinforcing. Interesting. They're merging. Are they gonna? I think they're gonna merge all their armies, you know, and then start to attack us. I th yeah, look, they're all merging into one army. I think they're all. Yeah, they're all gonna merge, and then attack us. I'm telling you now. I can sense it. Which makes this plan of mine not doable. Our only saving grace is that there's a lot of Peltists in here. Scutari are a slightly higher class. Yeah, look at them. They're actually really good. <laughs> These guys not so good. These guys... What about you, suckers? Skirmishers. Family leader. That looks pretty menacing. That does look pretty menacing. Okay. I'm thinking that... Um, wooden wall to help strengthen the defences for their approach, or should we go for a militia barracks? I don't think, it's, I don't think we're going to get three turns out of this. I think wooden wall bolster the defences. <clears throat> We're gonna. Hmm. What we might end up doing, if they do converge with a full force here, the fight with the new midges, I'm not anticipating taking a long time. I say that. We continue to take the ships across. If this does converge and start to come here, <clears throat> we'll assess what our chances are. If our chances look like it's going to be a bit of a tricky one, then it, must, it will we'll take the whole force out of here and take that one. And then between the two, between the force here and what's left of this force, hopefully we get a full stack out of that. And then we shall counter-attack against the Spanish. I think that's what we'll do. We may have to abandon... Abandon this. I don't see the point of throwing our lives... You know, throwing lives away... For a fruitless endeavour. We'll bear that in mind. This is not going to happen by... This is not going to happen in this part, so... Uh, you, you can probably... Uh, you can probably have some input on this, but I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's just get Africa sorted first. Then focus our attentions on Spain. We'll take it back, not a problem. They'll end up taking it and spreading themselves thinly again. And they'll wish that they never crossed swords with us, because we'll come back with a vengeance, I can tell you that much, if they dare to turn their blades against us. If they dare... We could be we could be barking up the wrong tree. But with a relationship of 59%, I don't think I am. Uh, 
Yes. I don't think I am. Right, they should be in reinforcement range now, right? So if we attack the settlement... They've got a family member in there. Horses. Family members. Would I prefer a, a battle on the land or a battle... If we attack and they reinforce... They'll be outside the city anyway, but they can get inside the city, can't they? So, how to play this little, how to play this little little game? Right, okay. So we'll keep an eye on that. This is the last. But focus on that next. In the meantime, okay, the midi. That's pretty much undefended. It's fine. Uh. We can hopefully Ready to sail. now move ourselves down here. Ready to sail. Next turn, and our esteemed leader sail. should be able to disembark, get some more mercenaries, and then uh, take down. Lepsis Magna. So the next couple of turns we might else uh, end up with another couple of new settlements which will be very nice indeed. Ready to sail. Yes, mighty lord. All right. Excellent. So we're just about It's tempting, isn't it? They've left this rather undefended. We could uh, sweep in, drive them off Sicily, ha, 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 and have the last laugh. We could. <laughs> we could. Tempting, tempting, tempting. They must have an army here somewhere on this island, surely. Faction leader. Of course, it would draw the entire Romans against us. Hmm. As tempting as it may be. Right, I'm going to take a couple out. Get them down there, just in case there's a new Midian army that we can't see or haven't seen. We just want a little bit of extra protection down here. Carthage still recruiting anyway. Thapsus. 949. All the building works across the land, apart from Lily Bayum now. Let's have a look at what Lily Bayum needs next. <clears throat> Some land clearance? I'd say so. Let's give him some land clearance. It's taxable after all the goods. <clears throat> the farming goods. Ships ready. Set sail. Disembark. Orders. Look at that. The Balearic Slingers get too experienced when they're recruited from here. Very good indeed. Mighty General. March. So there we go. Palma is now under our control, which means that we can do as we wish with buildings and taxes. Let's just go to uh, this for a second. We lose a little bit by turning the tax down, but you know what? We need this to expand as quickly as possible, because again, it gives us just that bit more to play with so we'll just decrease the tax a little touch there still taking 240 positive this turn <clears throat> again holding off on the ships right then I think we're happy with everything else that's going on here so the final act of the turn then is to deal with this now I just want to make sure that this LP5, why not? Fire! How are we going to play this, I say? How are we going to play this? I think if we attack him, he's going to retreat. I don't think... automatically lift the siege that's the thing if we attack him will he retreat 
for us then to have to chase him down to then have to come back and then re-siege it or do we attack him and both come into the fight thus drawing them out i don't know how the mechanics work here so this is a mechanics thing more than anything so let's see i want i want to fight these guys with these guys coming as reinforcements that's what i want attack break off the siege don't move oh shoot that's what I didn't really want to happen, Glorious ideally, victory. but it's what we've got, so... Engage the enemy. Dealing with them in two separate things is probably not too bad. I'm going to auto-resolve this. I don't really wish to be pursuing <laughs> Missile Cav in the desert, to be quite honest with you. I really don't. It's going to be a pain in the ass. So we'll we'll auto resolve this one, and we'll fight. It's, does this give us extra command? I can't remember if he's a night fighter or not. Just in case he is, we'll fight in night. Hopefully, the, the auto resolve won't be too uh, bad here. No. Okay. So they they. Ha That's the only issue with auto resolving is also that uh, you can't. They've gone inside. Hey ho! Sire, engage the enemy. Begin the siege. It's fine. It's fine. Just they're just delaying the inevitable. It's all they're doing. Right, let's move. Right then, well, okay, one more turn then. One more turn, we take that. One more turn, we take that. So, all in all, suppose it's not a Orders. bad thing. Samar Breva. Oh look, he's coming back for round two. He's a sucker for punishment. Hey, and the Spanish, the Spanish didn't move. Maybe we were a bit hasty about the Sp Spanish. Or did they move? And we just didn't see it. <laughs> well, we have a we have a backup plan. So you know what? Whether they come or whether they don't, it really doesn't make a massive amount of difference to us. To be honest with you, doesn't really. So whether they come or not is is irrelevant really marriage Theodocles got married finally you're only 27 I mean my god subject of rumours oh dear his wife and her supposed lovers you've just got married and she's already causing tongues to wag everybody alert has got a linguist Five influence. How very lovely. Very lovely. Should help you when parlaying with those curt British folk. Those curt miserable Britons. <laughs> and Bruce has got a priest. And there's a couple of wars out there in the big wide world. Okay, right. Let's uh, first of all start things off. Ribadi. <clears throat> Awaiting your command. I carry your word. Yes, trade rights. With Britannia, if you don't mind. Thank you. A most generous proposal. Thank you. Not that I wasn't about map information and all that malarkey. Let's go to speak with the Germanic tribe next. Off we tootle. At once. Out of move, sir. Yes. Our multilingual uh, diplomat working his charms. Excellent. Is that going to give us any extra, extra trade? Probably not, because we haven't got a trade route open with them because uh, they're miles away. That's where merchants come in handy, because they kind of open trade routes with the places that you can't 
trade so we could like stick a, a merchant say in Londinium their capital and he'll start uh, trading back same with the Gauls if we could stick a you know stick a, a merchant in say here Alessia their capital same thing Your obedient servant. but anyhow we should all uh, not worry about that for now. They're fine. Uh, okay, Palma, fine. Everything sorted. Yeah, just sit there and chill out then. Uh, down here, Carthage is still building Thapsus. 1,782. We won't build anything. What we're going to do is we're going to wait to take these settlements just because that's going to give us some extra income which we can then factor into our, into our building plans. Same with... Uh, and any ship building that we may want to do. So I think it is time, folks. I think it is time. My ears are yours. Oh, they're just beginning to recruit a few extra things here. So is that place. I'm thinking we should go now. You know what? I'm going to leave the town watching here. We'll leave the town watching there. Let's see if they get frisky now that it's undefended. Why not? Ships ready. Oh, blocked. Set sail. Risky. If they were to attack us now, <laughs> we could be in trouble. Uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. You could have been a bit hasty there, but hey. What we should have done is taken him to the shore and then in the turn after, then got in the boats, because that would have then given us full movement points to move the ships away from this potential threat. Okay. Oh, what we should have also done is recruit mercenaries from here whilst we were there. Forgot about that as well. Oh, well, I, think I've, I think I've screwed this one up a little bit. Do forgive me. But uh, hey-ho. Right. Let's take the boss man down. Come on, Mr. Boss Man. Ready to sail. Orders. I think one of each is enough. Okay, we're off skis. Here we go. Begin the siege. Right, we're going to fight this one, because it's our faction leader. And this should be simple enough, because all they've got is town militia. Right, okay, fight the battle in night as well. No, let's fight in the daytime. Oh, I want to see the whites of their eyes. The fear. This is mainly for me to get used to the uh, <laughs> used to the, uh, the battle. And set all the set all the things up, you know, the auto run and walk and stuff, and get all that sorted now. For our, in preparation this for a tougher a fight. We will stand together. We will not fear defeat. We will look forward to victory. Very good. Did we? Did we shall? Okay, so let's get our bearings here. So if we press space bar, right? Selection markers. So you can turn things on and off, you see. Right, anyway. Um, everything is fine. Uh, battle default. So I want unit speed to default to walk. Guard mode, you have to enable it. Skirmish mode, automatic. Okay, that's good. Right. Hoplites. Hoplites. They should be able to do a number. Oh, the scroll speed is very slow. Very slow indeed. Uh, right. So they should be able to do a number on those town militias. We've also got some skirmishers. Some. Very good. Right. Uh, that's it. Just making sure that my drawing. How do we move? Units. Click and drag, yeah. Units. 
How do we... No, 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 no. This is why I'm doing this now, you see. <laughs> so how do we click and drag these suckers? Way to roll them forward. How do we click and drag? Is there a button to press, isn't there? There must be. Shift right click? No. Shift left click? No. Control click? No. Alt click? <clears throat> ah! <coughs> there we go. Alt click. Soften up, let's soften them up with a bit of uh, missile fire. Run! Ooh, here we go. Well, it's good to see the Peltus have skirmished effectively, isn't it? Bloody hell, idiots. Jesus, what imbeciles. Right. We're in a fat area in a phalanx formation. Well, we've lost our peltists, which I mean, it is mercenary, so the more that we lose, the better for the upkeep, of course. These are expendable. I should make mincemeat of these. Well, General's got into uh, the fight here. He's uh, eager to get his hands dirty here.
General incoming! Airborne! Okay, I think that'll do. Are we done? And no one can argue that it is not both well deserved and worthy. Excellent job. Yes, we lost a few pelters, but hey. What's a few pelters when you take a settlement, right? <laughs> I have a sneaky suspicion that this is going to be a very choppy video. I'm looking at the preview screen that I've got on my side. Um, so I do apologise if that is the case, but uh, it will be fixed for the next Victory! session. The solution will be to lock the frames to 60. We have conquered. Uh, occupy is fine. We're not here to slaughter people. Why is it not allowing us to do anything? Ah. Benevolent dictator. Huh. Right, well, I think we'll disband them. Save a bit of money. I think we'll recruit some peasants. And that should help public order. Um, I mean, they do have a family member there sort of lurking in the shadows, but so we do could really use some troops for defence. Just in case, you know, the... Um, just in case the dogs uh, send any troops from this side. But uh, let's have a look at our incoming income now. 1,800. Uh, we'll get ourselves a wall to start with. And then we'll take it from there. He's going down here. We'll just leave that and let him do it himself, just in case I forget to do it manually. So, Right, I'm going to end the session here, because there's the choppy screen on my preview is, is, is annoying me. So, uh, in the next session, we shall start... With this, well, the attack on Serta, which we'll have to do, we'll have to end the... My well, we have the rams, don't we? Indeed we do. So we have the rams, we have the rams, so we will be ready in the next session to take down Serta. And you can let me know what your thoughts are on the plan over here, but anyway, yes. Fingers crossed we make it. Spanish, will they pounce or not? Who knows? Will we continue to maintain peaceful relations with the Skippy Eye? It's all ifs, buts and maybes. But for the time being, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. There's nothing at the moment, and I say this because I want to curse myself. <laughs> Commentate this curse. No, I don't, but it's going to happen anyway. But as it looks, we're not looking too shabby. The Navy is building up. We're about to take three new settlements within the next couple of turns. You know, it's not looking too bad. We're just we're just kind of tentatively negotiating through this, you know, this thinly spread start. But once we have got through this initial phase and taken down the Numidian towns and just maybe a couple of turns or so, well, more than a couple of turns, but a few turns of consolidation, we will be then ready to start doing things on the front foot rather than on the back one. But anyway, as usual, leave a comment if you've got any tips, advice, anything that you observe that you think we should be doing. And in the next session, we shall take down Zerta. Until then, see you soon.